Greetings! I'm the captain. I'm Rob. And um, it's 2014. 24, did you know that, Rob? I didn't know that. It's 2014. I'll just turn my amp in standby. Schecter have made some upgrades to their guitars in 2014. Ooh. And we have a couple of them here. So I have a, a, a stealth C1 in this rather attractive sort of matte white finish. I like that. I, I actually went reached out to touch it just to see Reach if it was Reach out and touch me. <laughs> Um, and uh, Rob has the uh, the Blackjack ATX in the new Solo 2, mm. I believe this particular shape is called. It's got a bit Let's of a, a secret look. secret back cutaway, look at that. It's doing yes, things Solo on the back. Two. Ooh, clever. Yeah. Um, as Rob rightly said, because that's where you put your hand in it. Yeah, your hand is there. <laughs> like that. So, do you want to know about your guitar, Rob? Well, I, I know a bit about it already, but tell me about my guitar. Okay, so it's an arch top um, bound body with a ma uh, mahogany in certain colours, yeah. but in your particular colour, Swamp Ash. Ooh. Um, set neck, three-piece mahogany neck, um, with, uh, oh no, I tell a lie, sorry, it's mahogany on the other colour. Do you know what, I'm so unprofessional. And on your one, it's maple. So basically, if you have the colour ABSN, that ABSN. sounds like something oh, it's, that that's, uh, kids at school get now. ABSN is it's like, got a satin, ABSN. It's like, like a satin <laughs> black. Um, as opposed to the uh, colour VRS, which is what this is, which is something like vampire something or other, isn't it? But red, Can basically. we talk about things that are really important? Yes. So the first thing you'll notice if you pick up one of these guitars, this is the review side of what we do. Yes. The necks are really, really thin. They are. are they, some... Do you think they are thin or just because oh, they've no, been playing no, 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 seven no, no. and eight These, these are really, more. really thin. This feel, is... feel a Chapman guitar. Well, I mean, I, is it, is I, it, is it a lot thinner? I don't need to, mate. I, I just know these, these are... Just know, do you? Yeah, these are thin necks. Now, this is great and terrible depending on the kind of person you are are you a person with normal width hands do you have normal shaped I, hands i love the because i'm a i am a um what do you call it? a bad habit old school thumb round the neck that's not a bad habit it's a good habit if you do a lot of bluesy bending of a brato yes. because you use that thumb as a pivot a bit like a compass point yes. drawing it drawing a circle so i'm it's not a bad habit at all i am happy with necks that are narrow this way but fat that that way. Well, that's what this is. Yes, this I like is. That. It fits in here, and it's just the right yes. size. I'm going to say, if you're a younger guy, if you are a teenager, this is a great, great size neck for a teenager. It's almost the opposite of a wizard, kind of. Oh, totally the opposite. Yeah, of a wizard, because it's yes. really narrow, but a bit chunk. So you still get that reassuring neck tone because a lot of rather than a wizard like, sleeve, it's more like a wizard's turtleneck. You know, it's more like his arm. It's a wizard's yeah. arm. It's a wizard's arm rather than a wizard's sleeve. <laughs> But you know, a lot of the, did you know, Lee, a lot of the tone from an electric guitar comes from the neck. From an electric guitar? It comes from the neck. I did know that. Yes. So having a bit of chunk there is a good thing, as we all know. <laughs> We both noticed it's really, I mean, I'm yeah. almost like Jimi Hendrix on this thing. I mean, it's incredible. You can do all sorts of chord shapes you never thought were human. Using your possible. thumb to actually play the, the D string. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. But they're not, I mean, it's just... <laughs> It's so easy to play because it's so little. It's a little bit out of tune now, what's though, Lee. What's the downside then of a skinny little neck like that? Well, <coughs> I say skinny, if you've I mean got narrow. really big hands slash a little bit larger than normal like I like I have, then you've got a lot of hand to yeah, pack into would... a small space. Yes. <laughs> it's what j said. So I've got a lot of hand to put, <laughs> pack so, into a small space. If you go... <laughs> If 
you have big hands, you might find it a little bit harder to play. Okay. In the <laughs> eternal debate of active versus passive and which is better. This sounds great. So, so I, I haven't even looked. So Seymour Duncan uh, with their blackouts, which obviously are active. Yeah. You, you like it. I, I've already got a set of blackouts. I've got them on an L2 and I really enjoy them. So clearly it's not active bad, passive good. It's certain types of active <coughs> bad. Well, you know what? I've been thinking about that <laughs> recently probably too. Probably certain types of passive bad as well. Yeah, you know? because if you run your guitar into an amplifier, you're boosting it with an electrical circuit. If you have an effects pedal in the loop, you, it's it's all going through electric stuff. Yeah. Active pickups, it's just like having a distortion pedal or a boost yeah. or a gain. I mean, it's just, it's still taking the, the string sound magnetically and putting it into an amplifier. It's just boosted. I, I don't get the hatred on actives. I mean, who cares? I don't get the hatred on actives. I think what's happened is... Well, you either like is, it or you don't like Well, it. I think what's happened is everybody just assumes that every active pickup will sound like an EMG 81 and 85. And, so, and, and, and so if you've decided you don't like those pickups... No, they really don't, because I particularly absolutely. don't like EMGs, but I do like well, these. But even that, I think, is not fair, because I particularly do like the EMG headset, for example. I like the EMGs on a clean tone. No, even the headset, you know, which yeah. is a... You know what I think? I think people on the internet write a load of rubbish sometimes, and then I think it sticks. And then I think people yes. take that rubbish they've written to, and be, I think to be the law. quite often, that you know, you often see these two guys on the internet that talk a lot of rubbish yeah. all the time, and then that becomes the law as well, so... <laughs> Did you know this is Coffee Time with Robin Lee? <laughs> Woo! But it's a bit of a secret Can I Coffee say, Time. I for, for all you people mug? in England, or Great Britain, I've been given a Spurs mug. And I'm not a Spurs fan, so I'm not entirely sure that it's even legal. This is against your religion, It could be. might probably make the coffee taste revolting. You know, the Schechter uh, oh. guy made us this coffee. Mm. It's probably going to make you play really fast. It doesn't sound too bad, but um, it's probably not in my top... It doesn't top... sound too bad. He's it's... become a synesthete. It's probably not in my top four coffees of all time. <laughs> and there's a little football in-joke for you. Ah. And probably never will be. <laughs> He thinks it's all over. <laughs> Rob, trying to talk football. What do you think of England's chances in the World Cup, Rob? England are out of the World <laughs> Cup, Lee. I know that. <laughs> you can't fool me. <clears throat> because Italy went out and therefore they have to be out. Is that right? Something like that. I don't what know. do you think of Luis Suarez biting that defender? Was he hungry? Did they feed him? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> did he even do it? <laughs> anyway. Anyway, we're reviewing Schecter guitars. We are, we are. I wish, I wish Keith was here, man. He'd do such a better job. He would with do this. a lot better job. Yeah. Wouldn't he? So Keith, I miss you. So this is the, the, the blackjack. This is a kind of a upper mid price kind of guitar. So they expect to part with about seven fifty <gasps> for one of these. <gasps> um, Look at that. That's kind of cool. It is. It is. It's, it's it's nice. So I mean, clearly the, the this sort of single cut. Shape is, is hardly new in the world, but of course been copied many, many times. Um, but this does have a slightly sort of more contemporary tweak. Got locking machine heads. Yeah. Regular sort of tone pro style um, bridge and tail piece. Yes. Uh, what have we got? Two volumes and one tone? Surprisingly not that light for a Swamp Ash. Yeah, that's unusual. Bodies. They do one in mahogany and one in Swamp Ash. Yeah. Uh, but have you got glow in the dark dots? Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they are. They're quite, they're quite shockingly glow in the dark. This is probably, um, you know, sort of a more traditional super strat style vibe. So that, so the, sort of the arch got, top with the double cup. I don't think it's got big enough pole pieces. In the, no, the, the, the pole pieces do. I think it could be bigger. Can I um, hold it so I can show B cam? Yes, do it. It's nice and light there, isn't it? Oh my god, it is light. Is it made out of snow? <laughs> is it? <laughs> It's, it's just an enormous, Let it go. It's an enormous brick of cocaine, and it's the latest way the uh, Colombians <laughs> are smuggling the stuff. They just shape them like Schecter guitars. It's nice. It's all right, isn't it? I've got an affinity with this. And it's really odd. And it's a lot I, This cheaper. guitar immediately spoke to me, Leo. I went, oh, Rob, yeah. you haven't bought a guitar in many years because you now make them, but maybe you'd like to buy me. So the spec on this bad boy is that we've got a... Um, I was going to say it was a hip, a hip shot hardtail, but it's not. It's like a Schecter kind of a copy of a of a hip shot hardtail. Um, no doubt made by the same factory. It's a bit like Tesco's Weetabix. They're just Weetabix, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? Controversial. Not really. Wait, um, it's the ice cream truck with the loudest speaker on the top of his 
car ever. So what else we got? We got an arched mahogany body. What pickups are on these? That's all I really want to know. They are. Well, can I plug it into my app and have a little these comparison? These are Schecter Super Rock Two Dual Mode Humbuckers, which Let's can be tapped out. via the tone <coughs> control. Right, let me just try it because I'm excited about this. <laughs> Plays great, dude. I like it. Yeah. Do you like the mix, Lydia? Dude. That's your favourite mode, isn't it, Lee? Did you know that th that was actually introduced about 500 years after the Romans introduced rabbits to the UK as a way of kind of um, curbing the population? <laughs> That's mixomatosis. Oh, yeah, that one goes. <laughs> That's how that one goes. That was nice. Honestly, you know, sometimes no I take a scale, and what I do is rather than just playing all the notes, I skeleton it. So, say for example, you get that scale. Yeah. I just go. So you take the middle note out. Absolutely, what I do. Yeah. And it's kind of cool because you get that kind of strange. And what I, what I often sound. do is I I take very very complicated scales and I take all the notes <laughs> out in a blues pentatonic. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, someone at some point has got to teach you three note per string pentatonic. I think you'd enjoy that. And you could do some there. some full on, you know. That's never going to happen. Never going to happen. Never going to happen. But you know what this does do? What? That's all that sounds stuff. Great. It sounds really good. Sounds like good. these pickups. So, what was the story behind these uh, Super Rock 2 pickups? Some. F that's the answer I was looking for. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Were they the original Pete Townsend humbuckers? They, apparently, from... yes. Back in the day when Schecter was kind of like a parts thing, and you know, this was the, apparently this was the, the pickup that really put Schecter on the map. Lots of famous guitar players went, "I want Schecter Super Rock Twos in my guitar." Um, Got to be honest. Yeah. I mean, they're all right, but I mean, so it sounds good to me. Like they sound better. Really? And you know what? To me, that sounds great. Of all the pickups I've tried today, yeah. The one, the Nazgul. Nazgul sounded great. Nazgul it? sounded badass. And it's got a great name as well. It's got a great it? name. It reminds me of being name. a kid and watching Lord yeah. of the Rings behind we my should couch. Make ones for, we should make ones for Chapman. We call them the Bilbo. We'll call the them Bilbo. better than Nazgul. We'll call them the Bil... Well, no, because Bilbo beat... And we'll call them Na Nazgul. Not Bilbo, Frodo. More Nazguler. We can't probably get sued by... Can't call them the, the Frodo set. It? That would be awful. Why not? He, he won at the end of the day. He defeated the You know what a Frodo thing. set? Oh, oh, Frodo. oh, Mr. Lee, Frodo, like a, can I get a set of Frodo's my ML2, please? That all right? <laughs> <laughs> Last night, Vera and I were drinking in a bar with my girlfriend, and we were talking about Guthrie Govan. We were saying, wouldn't it be funny if Guthrie had a Wiltshire accent? Hello, I'm Guthrie Govan. I'm here to talk about Shred today. Today, we'll talk about the Lydian mood. It would be hilarious, wouldn't it? No one would take it seriously. Are there any famous serious things we can talk about <laughs> is there is there a really really amazing west country guitar player that that, that you know jethro he's a comedian isn't he yeah. um so so is there a link is there is there actually a sort of a biological link between if you talk like you're from the west country you can't i, I am probably the player? only west country guitar player <laughs> oh, actually you know what i'm a complete liar because you're not from the west country kenwin house reef there we go west country band I love the West Country accent. When well, I was whenever, younger whenever than I'm, now I am. Whenever I'm around people with West Country accents, I feel like I'm on holiday. It's just like I just feel like this is everything sort of just slows down a pace. Everyone's got more time for the. That's right, mate. You go to the pub and get a playman's yeah. It's great, isn't it? It's my favourite. A poor structure guy is wiggling what's, his hands. He's, he's saying, going, what, What's going, going on here? Can you wind things up? Will you stop talking rubbish about Wiltshire and start playing structure so, guitars? Instead? How much is that? I don't know, mate. You don't know, do you? No. It's about four hundred pounds. Might be closer to four fifty. I don't know, but it's somewhere around about that four. Can I? Can mark. I see if I can hold it with two fingers? Do it. You can. I can hold it with is two it made fingers. Of it is made of snow. Can I see if I can hold it with one finger? <laughs> <laughs> Show me your genitals, your genitalia. Uh, that's for the internet, YouTube people. I'm enjoying this video now. Yes, I'm. Do you know what I think it might be? Drugs. These great guitars <laughs> and the amazing coffee that the Schecter man made us. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've been Rob Chapman. <laughs> I've been the captain. Bye. Sorry. That was a great video. <laughs> <laughs>